Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Skincare with Chris Gibson. If you're not familiar with me, I'm Chris. I'm your skincare expert and I'm here to help you get skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet and not cause more harm than good. So if that's your thing, please hit the subscription button and that little notification bell so that you get notified when my new videos are up each week. Okay, so the skincare line on the chopping block today is Biosons, or as they say, Biosons. Biosons. Okay, so their tagline is they are pioneering sustainable beauty through technology. And it's interesting because the scientists behind Bioscience Skincare are actually scientists who in 2003 at Berkeley created and made available worldwide a treatment for malaria. So it was royalty free, it was widely available, and it saved a lot of lives. Truly a heroic act. But they were bored with saving people, so they decided to turn their scientific expertise toward skincare. They wanted to take that same pioneering technology and sustainability and give you skincare products that weren't tested or harmful to animals or the environment, which believe me, I'm all for. Now they focus the skincare line on squalane as an ingredient. And squalane is interesting because it is naturally occurring in all plants and animals, including us human beings. It is actually produced in our sebum, or part of the oil that your skin produces. And it is actually one of the lipids in that skin oil that helps protect and heal and calm your skin. Now, as we get older, we produce less and less of this. So you guys who are in your 20s are not gonna see as great an effect of adding squalene to your skincare products or using products that are based on that as a moisturization product because you're already producing it. But those of us who are a bit older, <clears throat> say in our 50s, 40s, and 30s, all do need to add moisture to our skin on a regular daily basis. And squalene makes a lot of sense because your skin already understands what it is. It's able to absorb it. So it's able to actually do some good. So they built this entire skincare line around this ingredient. So what exactly can squalene do for your skin? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because it's a very good one. Well, of course, obviously it hydrates as we just talked about, but it is also able to improve your skin's elasticity and actual structure. It also is great at helping to balance oil production and it reduces pore congestion. So yeah, squalene, really, really good lipid ingredient for your skin. And I'm glad that someone did actually take this ingredient, especially for those of us who are a little bit older because it is going to make a big difference in your skin. So squalene. Good stuff for sure. Now, one thing I wanna point out right now is that Biosense is not an inexpensive skincare line. Most of the products run 30 to $80, somewhere in that range. Now they do have minis that you can get and try out. They're available at Sephora, but I looked at their online website and that is basically their pricing. So you can guess retail is going to be higher. And you know, a skincare brand is expensive when they offer you a payment plan. Now this is a non-sponsored video and Biosense is a product line that I have tested out in the past. So today I'm going to do a review on their most popular products, some of which I have tried because they have a lot of products and I obviously can't do them all. So I wanted to give you my feedback on what I think about the ingredients and what the effectiveness is and my own experiences because as all of you who follow me know, I am all about ingredients, effectiveness, more than brand name and price. Now all the products that I talk about today will have links in the video description box so you can check them out. And also if there is a particular Biosense product that you really like, and are using or want to use and you have questions about it, just pop it down in the comments below and I will be happy to give you my feedback on that. Now, the first product I wanna talk about today is a very popular product. It's one of their most popular product and reviewed products on their website and that is the Vitamin C Plus Rose Oil Serum. Now, this Vitamin C Serum is a little bit different. Most of us are used to be talking about L-Scorbic Acid as Vitamin C Serum. That is not what they use. They do use a derivative of Vitamin C plus the rose oil extract, which is a very good, very hydrating, very skin calming ingredient. The issue that I have with this particular product is that they don't tell you what the equality of the vitamin C strength of the serum is. When I try this, it's very light, it absorbs very well, and it does give you some vitamin C benefits that I can see. And most of you know, I am a connoisseur of vitamin C serums. There's probably not a vitamin C serum out there today that I've not tested or tried. So there is something to the strength. You need to have 15% strength vitamin C serums or L-ascorbic acid. In most cases, you see a lot 
of effect on your skin for its brightening. But this vitamin C serum is very light. They describe it as very light. And the secondary ingredients that they add to this product are very few and none of them are any of my skin offenders. No alcohol, no fragrance. So it really is a light vitamin C serum that you can use and try, but don't think you're gonna get these dramatic effects from it. You really are not. Now, one interesting thing about the formulation ingredients in this vitamin C serum is that it includes Chios Crystal Oil, which is a really unique skincare ingredient. It's really used more over in Asia and in Greece, the Mediterranean, Egypt, all of those areas. It's made from the resin of a tree, a mastic tree. It's an ancient tree, been around forever. And the resin has been used in just all kinds of ways. They've made gum out of it. They've made skin lotion, skin oil, skin tonics. Here's why they say the Chios oil will help lift and tighten skin. And that is because as the moisture evaporates from the resin, the oil crystallizes. So it makes sense that it would kind of lift and tighten your skin. I get it. Now, it's also interesting that the Egyptians used this particular ingredient to embalm their mummies, but that aside, it works really, really well for your skin and it is a cool ingredient. Now, next I took a look at the Squalane and Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. And when I tried this product, I was super interested as I always am. And I gotta tell you guys, I know, I know what it's like to want a product to work really, really well for you. And I'm not foreshadowing that this product won't work, but I gotta tell you, there have been products that I have wanted, that I have put money aside for, saved my money for, had to order from overseas or wherever, and just couldn't wait to get the box, couldn't wait to open it, couldn't wait to apply this brand new skincare product to my skin and then be extremely disappointed. And that skincare product end up in the drawer of no return. And I gotta tell you, I've had a lot of products end up in the drawer of no return. It's one of the reasons that I come across sometimes very harsh with these skincare products from these companies because it doesn't matter what you spend on them if they don't work. And this is one of those products that may or may not work for you. And when I talk about how it's formulated, you'll understand. Now, lactic acid 10% is an AHA and it is very, very good. But they promise overnight results. And anytime I hear overnight results, I'm a skeptic. Yeah, you're gonna get an eyebrow up and a side eye on that one. But this product promises that, and at 10%, they ask you to do a patch test, which I think is a really good call. Now, they also formulate this with clover as a booster for the lactic acid. I'm guessing it's red clover. They don't tell you if it's green clover or red clover, but red clover is more in use in skincare products for its hydration and its soothing effects. Now, in this formulation, they say it's going to renew and reset your skin after a full day in the sun. Yeah, again, eyebrow, and side eye. Now, I also took a look at the secondary ingredients because a lot of times that's where the problems actually lay with a product formulation. And I was not disappointed this time. They actually include in this formulation, sodium hydroxide. And if you don't know what sodium hydroxide is, basically it's lye. It's lye soap. It's a caustic cleaning ingredient. Now, to be fair, in a lot of skincare ingredients, they use a tiny amount of sodium hydroxide to help balance the pH because sometimes ingredients when they're mixed together, they don't keep the pH that's necessary to give you the results on your skin. I get that. But there are other ways to do that besides sodium hydroxide. It's very, very harsh and very, very irritating to a lot of people's skin. Would you wanna put lye on your skin? I guess not. So they also added lavender oil, which is an essential oil. So, you know, there again is another skin irritant. So if you have sensitive skin or you're sensitive to essential oils, I'm sorry, this is not gonna be the product for you. There are other options out there that are gonna be much, much better. I mean, when I think about 10% lactic acid plus sodium hydroxide plus an essential oil, yeah, that's gonna be harsh and irritating for a lot of people's skin, and it was for mine. So I gotta tell you, that product did not work well for me. It was too strong, made my skin very red and irritated. So if you are sensitive to these type of ingredients, this is a product you need to stay away from. I will put a dupe in the video description box below for you for this product. Alrighty, next I took a look at Squalene Plus Algae Eye Cream. And I gotta tell you guys, algae really has been ugh, in health and wellness and skincare like so overhyped over the years. I Every time I see it, I just cringe because the benefits of it, there are some, but they're not huge. It's not like an earth shattering ingredient. It's been around for a long time. People have been taking it for all kinds of things and it's in some skincare products. Promises, promises, promises. We have moved on past algae because there are many ingredients we've discovered that work much better, but 
there are some benefits and they did include them in this particular eye cream. So even though I sound like I'm bashing the hell out of it, I actually like this product. So obviously they include squalene in this eye cream. And let me tell you why I think that's great because the area around the eyes does not have a lot of oil glands. That's why your eyelids and around the corners of the eyes can be very dry. It's one of the reasons those areas age the fastest on people and wrinkle and get lines and all those problems and give me styes that I constantly get all the time from rubbing my eyes. By the way, don't do that. But squalene, very, very good hydration for the eye area. And again, your skin knows what to do with it. It's something that you produce naturally anyway. Now in this formulation, they also included pink algae. And again, not a big fan of algae, but pink algae does provide peptides. So they added this to this formulation to give your skin some peptides, which are gonna help strengthen the skin, the structure of the skin. Peptides also help reduce the amount of enzymes that break down collagen. And as you know, collagen is what keeps your skin firm, soft, supple, healthy, and youthful looking. So again, for this particular formulation and this product, I can see why they added that in the formulation. They also added hyaluronic acid, one of the few places I found that actual ingredient in any of their products. This makes this a very hydrating, moisturizing throughout the day eye cream. Now I took a look at the secondary ingredients because again, that's usually where the problems are and I didn't find any. In this particular case, they use jojoba esters instead of oil and they use flower extracts instead of oil. So there's no essential oil, no fragrance, and yet you're gonna get the hydrating benefits of those particular ingredients. So I really like this eye cream, it's a good one. Now I wouldn't do a skincare brand video review without taking a look at their sun protection products. And I'm happy to say that most companies are moving to mineral or zinc based products. Awesome, because the chemical products, while they're irritating to your skin and not necessarily good for your health, they're terrible for our oceans. And this makes sense for Biosense because of their credo, their mantra, to being cruelty-free and non-harmful to the environment. So they do have a new product, which is a sunscreen. It is a zinc sheer sunscreen, so it's not gonna leave that nasty white film on your skin. It's also a 30% SPF, which I tend to like better when you're using products on your face than 50s. 50% 50 SPFs tend to be heavier. They work okay, but I like that this one's a little bit lighter. It's not nano zinc, which means the particles of zinc are gonna be able to sit on the skin without being absorbed too far down into cause irritation. So it really is a good sunscreen product and I'm glad to see they added it to their line. So what are my final thoughts on Biosance and their skincare line? Well, I gotta tell you, I love the fact that they're environmentally conscious, they're cruelty free, and while they're not exactly a green company, they don't use recycled materials, which I would really like to see them move to. But I really do like that they offset their carbon footprint and shipping by planting trees and doing forest restoration. So it's a great start. Not exactly where we really need to be, but they're one of the few companies that are doing anything. So very, very happy about that. The other thing I was very happy about is that they're very straightforward. I'm using the word very a lot but they are very straightforward in their ingredient listings. They list everything. The only thing I didn't like is that in the vitamin C serum, again, most of us have been trained and taught and look for that percentage. And they don't tell you what the equitable strength of the vitamin C serum is, so you don't know. It's a question I have and a question that many people on their website have actually asked. The other thing that I did not like is that I found skin irritating ingredients in some of their products, like sodium hydroxide and essential oils. Some products they do a really good job formulating with the extracts. Some they use essential oils, which are irritating for skin. So you have to really check the labels if you're gonna use this brand and make sure that there are not any ingredients in there that are going to cause you problems. And you need to patch test these products to make sure that they're gonna work for you the way you think they will. And then there's their brand promise. They lean very heavily on quick overnight results. That is always, always suspicious to me because skincare results are different for everybody depending on what ingredients you're using and your skin type and what you've got going on. So that's a little misleading and I would like to see them clean that up, but you know what? It's marketing and most of us see through that anyway. Now I hope that this review of Biosance and some of their products helps you decide if they're really a good fit for your skincare routine or not. Be sure to check out my other skincare brand reviews so that you can choose and pick products that will help you build the perfect skincare routine that will work for you. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. Stay beautiful and I will see you over on the next one.